Hey, hey, I'm back with another video. If you don't know who I am already, my name is Gerald Latrice Mitchell and I'm the creator of Unfertilized Eggs. And what I wanna talk about today is a topic that I feel is very important, especially around the holidays. We're about five days out from Christmas um, here in the United States. So I wanna talk about those that are, of course, child-free um, during the holidays, what you can do during the holidays. And um, I know that some people, you know, they, they are just fine with the child-free lifestyle. They enjoy their solitude. I'm one of those people. Um, and there's, there's quite a few that I know. And you may be watching this video and you feel the same way. But I am also cognizant of the fact that there are some people who are child-free and they're feeling lonely around this time of year, which is understandable because I used to deal with that too. Um, you know, living in Atlanta, it was mainly, I think it was a, um, a whole weather thing. I have, well, I had what you call seasonal depression. And so, you know, when the cold weather would come around and it'd be gloomy and rainy and snowing and, you know, just a lot of overcast, I would feel depressed. So, you know, and also combined with the holidays and just the whole pressure of, you know, buying gifts. I don't do that crap anymore. I just spend money on my nephew because I feel like Christmas is for kids. Anyway, you know, that's just my personal belief, but that's not what this video is about. <laughs> um, so it's about those, you know, that are child-free who are, you know, having difficulties navigating their lives around the holidays. So I want to talk to you about, you know, how you can be child-free during the holidays, some things you can do um, to kind of uplift your spirits and to get through the holiday season in, you know, in peace. All right, so I just have like five examples here that I jotted down, bullet points, and I'll talk about them in more extensive detail. Um, all right, so what you can do is, you know, if you have the means to do so, take, you know, take a little trip, a road trip if you can, or, you know, a staycation, or just, you know, book a flight somewhere, do a holiday getaway, to, um, you know, some somewhere where, um, you know, you can just relax and unwind be yourself, you know, do those things you like to do, whether it's, you know, snowboarding or if you go somewhere warm, you can just sit, you know, on the lake or the beach or somewhere and just, you know, relax and enjoy yourself and get your mind off of things. And then um, the second thing you can do, you know, just unplug totally. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to book a trip to do this. You can just unplug, um, get off of social media for like a week or so or a few days um, and just watch movies, you know, put your notifications on your phone, do not disturb notifications, things like that. And just, you know, um, take your mind off things. Or if you just want to watch Christmas movies, if, you know, if, if you're emotionally able to do that, if they don't make you sad, um, I recommend, you know, doing that as well. Um, what else? You can go drive and see the Christmas lights, you know, that should uplift your spirits. Uh, for me, I love, you know, just looking at different colors and things like that, decorations. I don't do Christmas decorations in my place because what's the point? But um, I like looking at other people's decorations and, you know, finding inspiration uh, for that. For when I do have a, a gathering one day, um, it won't be this year, maybe next year or so or whatever. But um, yeah, you can go drive, take a quick drive somewhere, look at the Christmas lights in a, a, an area in your community or another Another community that, um, you know, that excites you. Then uh, another example, that's number, example number four, you can also volunteer um, on Christmas Eve or on Christmas Day, um, volunteer to, you know, feed the homeless. I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, the Salvation Army does this, I think. Um, so you can, you know, get with them to see if they need some volunteers. So just find, a, you know, a local, um, shelter or something where you can, you know, help out. And th this will help to uplift your spirits too, to get your mind off of things and um, put you in a, a great mood, things like that. It's interesting how, you know, when we give back, whether it's something monetary or a piece of advice or just, you know, being there for somebody, how it helps us. I'm, I could, you know, kind of speaking for myself, I guess, but um, it helps me more than it helps them because I, I feel good knowing that I help somebody, knowing that I help bring them out of a a bad place or that I was just there for them to listen, you know, because a lot of people, they just need somebody to listen to them. So you can just, you know, be that, that beacon of light for somebody else in another way, again, um, by volunteering or just calling up a loved one or a friend or several friends 
family members and just talking to them, you know, because um, you never know what people are going through during the holidays, you know, yourself included, you know, um, and others. So yeah, just be, um, be there for others, volunteer, extend service, and um, that's a great way to, you know, navigate the holidays as a child-free person. And the last one is if you have the pleasure of being an auntie or an uncle, because I know there's some men subscribed to this channel. Um, so if you have the pleasure of being an aunt or an uncle to your nieces or nephews or niece or nephew, um, yeah, spend a day with them during the holidays. Be, you know, what they call that super auntie or super uncle. <laughs> take them out somewhere, take them to the movies, take them shopping, you know, just whatever y'all like to do. Um, you know, that'll help you to kind of get through the holidays. So yeah, I hope this helped you. Um, it was great sharing these ideas with you. This, these are kind of some of the things I did when I was going through my own, um, episodes of holiday seasonal depression. Um, and you know, how I got over that now is the fact that because I live in a warmer climate where the sun shines a lot and you know, that, that sunshine helps me with my mental health and helps me, you know, with elevating my mood. You know, it's, it's interesting how people say, you don't need to move to a whole nother state or a whole nother area of the world in order to work on yourself. You can just work on yourself. Well, that's what I was doing. You don't think I was doing that? Um, but it also helps. It can, can also help if you move to another area. I mean, I'm not trying to give you life advice, trying to tell you what to do with your life, you know, to uproot and, and move across the country. Of course, I'm not telling you to do that, but I'm just saying in my case, that's what helped me. So I'm sharing that example for you you know, to let you know that if people are giving you advice that, that you think, you know, doesn't make sense or it won't work for you, trust your instincts, trust your first mind, trust your gut, because it never steers you wrong. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. But yeah, I hope that my um, tips helped you to kind of get some ideas going on what to do during the, um, the holidays as a child-free person if you're feeling down and out or, you know, kind of depressed a little bit or lonely. You know, I can understand and I empathize with you. But yeah, I hope these helped you. And um, if you have anything you want to add to the comments, let me know below. Um, make sure you like, comment, and share this video. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Make sure you, sh you tell a child-free friend or three about unfertilized eggs as well. All right. Thank y'all so much. Happy holidays to you.